which is located right here. And this only goes in one way, so kind of hard to mess it up. All right. Next, I want to go into uh, installing the RAM. There's two DIMM slots right here. And uh, when uh, choosing uh, a RAM type, this is very important. Make sure that the RAM is compatible with the motherboard. Um, when buying the motherboard, it'll tell you what type of RAM that it'll take. And it'll tell you how much RAM it'll take. This particular board has two slots. So I bought two sticks of uh, two two gigabyte RAM. We're gonna go ahead and install those next. Okay. Well, you unlock the dim slots by pressing the retaining clips down, just like that. Stick of RAM is made to go in only one way. Has a little slot here, and just you need to orient it into the uh, the dim slot with this little slot matching up to the one in the board. You can see that there. Okay. And you just press down firmly seating the RAM into the DIMM slot. These two locks will click up and lock lock the, the, the SIM in there. Do the same thing with the other one. There we go. And we've got four gigabytes of RAM locked into this board. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the board into the case. If you bought a retail motherboard, um, in this box, it will come with a, an I.O. shield. That needs to be installed into the case right here in the back. And that easily just snaps right into the case. There we go. Okay. Most cases will come with uh, the motherboard standoffs. In this particular box, they're already pre-installed for us. This uh, lifts the motherboard off the back of the case so it doesn't short out. Very important that you install these. It pushes it out probably about a quarter of an inch. And anyway, if you didn't install them, you'd know because your your uh, your inputs and outputs wouldn't match up to your your I/O shield in the back. Your case will come with the necessary hardware to mount your motherboard, so it's not something that you have to buy that's extra. Now to install the board, you just simply align the board with the standoffs and the holes that are on the motherboard. And uh, start to uh, apply the screws. like so. If you've installed it correctly, all the screw holes will line up. Very easy to do.
it sometimes can be easier to start all the screws and leave them just a little bit loose so that you can get all the screws started before tightening them. Makes things a little bit easier. Okay, now I have all the screws in. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten them down. Don't want to get these too tight. We want to get them snug. Don't want to damage the board. Okay. At this point I would install a video card. Uh, we're not going to use one on this, we're going to use the onboard video card. But uh, to install a video card you just you would take off the corresponding slot cover here that lines up with your your socket for your video card press the video card in and uh, if there's any power connection for the video card you, you'll have it on your power supply will connect right into the video card um, and, that, and make sure it just locks in and that's about it simple to install a video card the next one I'm going to do is install a power supply well, on second thought, power supply has a lot of wires on it that are just going to get in our way. So, let's go ahead and install some of the other components before we get to the power supply. What I'm going to do now is install the front panel connectors, um, also the uh, USB connectors, and the uh, microphone and uh, speakers on the front panel here. Um, it's a little bit hard to zoom in on this here. I would just refer you to the documentation that came with the motherboard. It's really easy to hook these up. You basically just plug them in exactly how the directions say and then everything on the front panel will work. I'm going to go ahead and connect those now. The USB 2 connector is here. It's pretty easy to connect this wire. It can only go in one way. It has a pin here that's filled in so that the connector will only go on one way. Just plug that right in. Now the front, front panel is live with USB. Okay, we've got those installed. This particular motherboard has a system fan header. We've got our fan here in the back. I'm going to go ahead and plug it right into the board. Like so. Okay, now I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, CD burner into the top here. Okay, let's start by knocking out this plate so we can put our CD drive in. It's done from the back side, and you can see up in there there's a, a tab up in here. Just pull that tab back and the front cover will pop out. 